Red Dead Online is coming out this month, and you know Rockstar is going to add a ton of things to buy, so if you need help gearing up for that, check out G2A with the link in the description, and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to collect all 144 cigarette cards in less than 15 minutes. There's actually a super easy trick and how you can get this done in a fraction of the time as compared to going around the map and gathering all the different cards, which gathering 144 cards scattered all throughout the world would be incredibly time consuming. That would take you hours upon hours. So there's only two requirements in order to do this. And the first one isn't really a requirement, it just makes it a lot easier. That first semi-requirement is the Legend of the East satchel. This will actually allow you to carry more of premium cigarette packages, which is what we're after today. But again, it's optional. It'll just make your life easier. Number two is going to be money. Uh, you're gonna need a little bit of money for this, so hopefully you don't mind spending a bit, but you'll get some back at the end, so it doesn't matter. So some of you guys might be asking the question, I've collected a few cigarette cards, why do I want to collect these? Well, you wanna collect them because Number one, you might need them to get 100% completion, but also number two, there's a ton of amazing rewards that you get, including one of the best items in the game. We'll talk about that once we're completed. But as you guys can see here, I haven't been going out of my way to try and get cigarette cards, and you know, I don't have many. You know, some I've got four of 12, others I've got two of 12, such and such. So in order to fill this up, all the way and to get 144 in 15 minutes what you want to do is go to any general store i like the one in strawberry because the guy doesn't talk to me so it's a little bit easier to just do this non-stop what you want to do is go over to the shelf where the premium cigarette packages are and you simply just want to buy them now buy as many as you can for me since i didn't have an upgraded satchel i could only buy two packs at a time once you do that, you want to open your satchel and then discard the cigarette packages. So you're going to be discarding all of them. From there, you can simply just buy more cigarette packages. Again, they're $5 each, and in each package, you are going to be getting a cigarette card. Now, as you guys can see here, every time I buy one, I'm essentially getting a new card that I have not found. Now, you're not going to get new cards every single time. You will get some duplicates, but as you'll see in this video, it's still incredibly easy to fill every single one of those up. And as we'll talk about at the end, you can actually sell those duplicate cards back to a fence, getting some of your money back at the end. So it's literally this simple. Instead of going around the map, all you do is go to the general store, you just buy cigarette packs till your satchel is full, you discard them and then you buy more. And what you should do every once in a while is you should check on how many you have completed and what your status is. After just about five minutes, mine looked like this. You know, some I had 11 of 12. Most I had eight of 12. Some I had 10 or nine of 12. Now, this is where it is going to get a little bit more difficult because at this point, it's just simple math. The chances of you getting a new card are slimmer and slimmer, but eventually I did end up getting them all filled up. And if there's ever a situation where you're on 11 of 12 and you just, you know, can't get that last one, you know, go feel free to find it in the world. These cigarette cards are scattered throughout the world for you to pick up and ultimately grab. So they're super easy for you to get one if that's basically all you need. Now something completely unrelated to getting the rewards and the completion for the cigarette cards, but was still nice, every time I bought a pack of these premium cigarettes, my dead eye was going up by plus five. And at the end of it, I think I ranked up my dead eye one or two levels just by doing this. So it has nothing to do with what we're going for in today's video, but at the same time, it's gonna be useful for you know helping push your dead eye meter and level even that much higher. Now I do think it's important that you get all 12 of these because the rewards are quite nice, but I wanna pause for a little bit because the first set you do is incredibly important. Now in order to start this, you're going to want to trigger the smoking and other hobbies mission. To initiate this mission, you have to speak to the stranger sitting on the bench outside Flatneck Station. And he's actually going to invite you to mail him every full set of 12 cards that you gather. And he's gonna offer payment in exchange. 
So the first set, and this is why it's important, the first set gets you a vintage Civil War handcuffs. Now, why is a vintage Civil War handcuff important? Well, it's the main ingredient to craft one of the best talismans in the game. And that's what we're going to be looking at right now. So if you have acquired the Vintage Civil War handcuffs by only completing one, which is super easy to do, you guys can craft the legendary Alligator's Tooth Talisman, which decreases the speed at which the Deadeye Core drains by 10%. And you guys can see there, the only one that's really difficult to acquire is that Vintage Civil War handcuff. The gold jointed bracelet, easy to get, and the legendary Alligator Tooth you'll actually get in a story mode mission. So that is the first reward right there, the vintage Civil War handcuffs, and that is going to get you one of the best items that you can get in the game. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you're going to be able to sell the duplicates at a fence. So they sell for a dollar each, so you will get a little bit of your money back. So if that's something you are worried about, the rewards we're gonna be discussing and the fact that you can sell some of the duplicates means that nothing goes to waste here. Now let's talk about the rewards for the other sets. If you complete Famous Gunslingers, you'll get Special Snake Oil and $50. If you complete Artists, Writers, and Poets, you'll get Ginseng el Elixir and $100. Vistas of America, a Gold Nugget and $100. Gems of Beauty, a Platinum Chain Necklace and $100. If you complete Floral of America, you'll get a Special Miracle Tonic and $50. Stars of the Stage, you'll get a Small Jewelry Bag and $50. Fauna of America, you'll get a perfect rabbit pelt and $50. Marvels of Travel, you'll get aged pirate rum and $50. World Champion, you'll get Valerian Root and $50. Amazing Inventions, you'll get Volatile Dynamite and $100. Horses, you'll get Special Horse Medicine and $50. Prominent Americans, you'll get three eagle feathers and $50. And if you complete all sets, you'll get $200. So if we do some simple math, that brings our grand total in rewards right there to $1,000. And that just includes the cash that we're gonna be getting. That doesn't include all the things you could potentially sell, like the platinum chain necklace or the small jewelry bag or the gold nugget or any of the other things you received. So your grand total could easily be around $1,500 and that pretty much offsets your cost of completing all the cigarette cards if of course you are worried about money and at the end of the day you're getting some really nice items and you're also getting the vintage Civil War handcuffs because without it there's no way to complete the alligator tooth talismans which again is one of the best items in the game and seriously at the end of the day this took me about 15 minutes it might take you even less if you have one of the upgraded satchels and this is so much more of a convenient way than picking them out throughout the world yes you do have to spend a little bit of money but at the end of the day after i got all of my rewards you know i didn't end up losing all that much and now i've completed 144 out of 144 and did it in 15 minutes so I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Are you going to be trying this method for yourself of finding all 144 rare cigarette cards? Or have you already found them by traveling throughout the world? If so, that's very impressive. But let me know in the comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.